so much, Michelle. Um, it's my pleasure to be here and a pleasure to be alongside Alicia and Duran. And um, one might look around this room and sort of hang your head. But I would say don't. Uh, there's power even in this number of folks that are attending. Um, despite uh, the times that we are in, um, that there, uh, one might call this a reckoning, one might say that we live in polarizing times. And I would say, keep showing up. Keep showing up, keep showing up, keep showing up. And um, continue to be ambassadors in this space. And I think you will be a walk away just empowered, um, challenged by this conversation. And so at the end, we're gonna say that again, that mantra, keep showing up. Um, so we're gonna first start off by talking about the power of representation. So. My first question will be to both of you, to Duran and Alicia. When there is um, what we call representation in sports media and broadcasting, what sort of impact do you, do you believe that has on, um, might that have on inclusion and challenging stereotypes? Um, inclusion, of course, is different than diversity. Um, inclusion looks a little different than cheeks and seats, um, like we have here. Um, it's about how we work together, voices being heard, seen, and valued. Um, so, what's the impact? And I'll, I'll start with you, Duran. Um, you get the first crack um, at the question. Yeah, well, I, I want to speak from the, the players here. The, the um, I think that um, as a leader, uh, running a company and building a business, it was important for us to actually have an inclusion model in our business to be able to have women help lead the driving force behind our business and leadership. We just announced our first ever uh, chairwoman last week or, you know, of our company as well. So it's important for women in a position to lead as well, but also being able to put more executive teams that are also people of a minority, not just of you know, black percent, but also other minorities as well too. Um, so we with the uh, build this network called Players TV, we had our own issues with like distributors and getting, you know, broadcast deals and dealing with the the the, the, the MVPDs and these major companies uh, that direct TV sling all those other companies. But it was also a major disconnect because we were still trying to break through with something that the market wasn't ready for yet. But there was also a lack on the other side of the table where there was like a lack of inclusion on the other side of the table as well. So um, I think with us, we have to lead by example as Players TV. So if I'm expecting someone else to lead by example, we got to be the ones leading with action by example as well. So I think having um, the inclusion model at Players TV was really, really important for us to do it. And also announcing Alicia Clark uh, recently as one of our newest athlete investors and owners as well. So we're putting a major emphasis in adding more women in sports uh, to our collective as well. And we're leading by example of that. Yeah, and just to kind of piggyback, um, you know, it's almost like a, you know, it's like women's sports right now. You know, everybody's like, oh, we support women's sports. All right, cool, how? Right. And, you know, the, the fight that we have as athletes, as female athletes, is like, hey, listen, we don't have the opportunity to show you our value if people can't see us or tune in. And so inclusion for, for my, from my point of view is put us in those prime time spots. Let's see what viewership happens. And you saw that during the March Madness tournament. The women outdrew the men for the first time ever in the history of it because we had prime time slots. And so for me, I've all, anytime I'm in a room when I'm sitting with CEOs or executives, I'm like, what does female leadership look like within your company? Who sits on your board? Because these companies are out here, you know, oh, we believe in diversity and inclusion. Okay, show me. What does that look like in, in powerful positions? What does that look like in your pipeline? Are you guys going to business schools and making sure that you are bringing along the female students the same way that you are the males? Like, are they coming through that same path? And so for me, that's the difference is you're not just giving us a seat at the table. Like, you're putting us in positions at the head of the table with you. And that, for me, is the difference between just having you know, sprinkled around some diversity versus actual inclusion. I appreciate that. I appreciate giving examples. Um, it's the prime time, it's talking about brackets on both sides because more often than not, I, I think people would talk about brackets and they were only talking about the men's bracket. But I feel like for the first time, they were showing both brackets. And that was the first time I saw that in a long time. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about that sort of, um, athlete, athletic empowerment, and sort of ownership. 